four, five, six point game for a long time, and all of a sudden you guys got some separation there in the second half. What would what, you finally do over a period of possessions there to get the lead? That, uh, that? We finally got stops. Um, pretty much what separates you from other teams. We, knew, we know we can score the ball, so it's all about the defense. Jeff, uh, you, you hit the big shot there to beat the shot clock about a minute and a half. Seemed to be kind of the big bucket there at the end. Can you take us through that play, and what was your sense once you made it? Did you feel like that was that was the basket? Uh, I knew it was in the shot clock, uh, and we just needed the bucket, so I was just trying to be aggressive and trying to make something happen, and uh, trying to float it and win. And at the time, I didn't really know that it was that big of a shot. It was just a matter of trying to get something up and then get back on defense. So. You got your third foul early in the second half. Kevin left you in for a period of time. Did you have to change much to – Keep from getting the fourth foul there, or how'd you play it from there? Uh, it was just a matter of being smarter, and, uh, trying to be aggressive, but not too aggressive. Just keeping my hands out and, and trying to uh, avoid getting the foul. Matt, what's this win mean for you guys, for this university, and ever based on what you saw tonight? Um, I mean, it was just another win for us. Going forward, we're trying to get ready for Tennessee next week. Really? So the court storming and all that, and the way you guys were jumping around and celebrating that yeah, was a lot of fun. Game. It was a lot of fun. You got to put things in perspective, though. What's your perspective on are you guys playing your best ball the season right now? I'm just taking it one game at a time, trying to get better. The loss of Mississippi State, it's, it was a gut wrencher, but you played definitely your three best games back to back to back since then. What's it been like, both of you playing under that kind of pressure? Anything different about it? Uh, not really. Uh, our, our coach is telling both of us to be more aggressive, and just, especially defensively. Once we're locked in down there, the offense just come. Jeff, a couple of weeks ago, Kevin was talking about the negativity swirling around this program. You guys taking any satisfaction, I guess, in, in sort of proving to people that they might have judged you a little too soon? Uh, not really. We always try to keep it in uh, in our locker room. We feel like there's always going to be stuff to say, good or bad. But as long as we stay together, uh, what we say is what matters. So um, I don't really think that negativity has really affected us. I think that uh, our ability to stay together and just focus on each other is what matters a little bit. Both of you guys, go ahead, please. Coach Cal just said that you guys kind of outfought the Wildcats. Do you feel, and that that's what the game came down to? Do you feel that you were able to outfight them there, particularly in that second half? Uh, yeah, I definitely feel like we did. Uh, we knew coming in that to beat Kentucky, you have to beat their mentality. Uh, we have the pieces that we pretty much beat anybody in the country. We feel like, and we just competed hard. Came out for the victory. Man, yes. Both took turns guarding uh, Murray today, and they were running him all over the floor, running him through screens. Can you both of you talk about what it's like trying to keep up with him? Uh, very tough. Uh, one screen after another, kind of tiring, but uh, we, got, we got the victory. Yeah, you know, one false step and you be paying for it. Uh, just kind of got to rely on the help from teammates and just be locked in at all times. Coach Calipari just said that he thought you guys were an NCAA tournament team. Do you feel like you showed the country today that you guys deserve to be in the NCAA tournament? Yeah, I feel like we did. Um, in turn, like internally, no matter what, I feel like we still expected to be an NCAA team, uh, no matter what the struggles were during the season and all the doubt and stuff. We always had the same goal, never changed, and we just kept working. Jeff, what have you guys found over the last three games? Um, just consistency. We always, even last year, we talked about playing our best ball towards the end of the year. And now as we get towards that point, you just kind of build every day and, and not taking any steps back. Did you have any sense that the Kentucky wore down what you guys wore down as the game went on? Uh, it seemed like we did a little bit. Um, <coughs> like Matt said, the biggest thing for us was the defense, just consecutive stops and getting the crowd into it and stuff like that. It just gave them uh, multiple things to worry about. Once they got a little bit tired, um, we took advantage of it. Matt, when you see Murray making shots like he did on the other side, it almost looked like he fed off of that. Was there any kind of competition going there, you felt? Oh, no, not at all. Coach uh, Collins thought prior to the game, it wasn't Vanderbilt versus Tyler Euless or Jamal Murray. It was just Vanderbilt versus Kentucky. And we were just trying to get the best shots for us. That was pretty much it. What was the plan with the Euless defending him? Because he didn't, he didn't shoot very well. What were you guys hope, you know, trying to do with him? Uh, we were just hoping our length bought him. Uh, I mean, we knew he was going to get under us. So we just tried to get in him, too. This is the first time you guys have beaten Kentucky since you've been here. Does it feel different than beating other teams maybe on your schedule? 
Uh, yeah, it does for sure. Uh, I mean, Kentucky's pretty much been, I mean, the standard college basketball. I mean, it's great, though. Jeff? Yeah, I would say the same thing, especially with them being uh, top of the conference. Uh, made a good one for us. Matt, Matt, this was a sellout. What, what did the atmosphere feel like for you guys? How, how did that uh, have an impact on the game? You felt? Uh, it was great. My fans were great. They were allowed into it the entire game. Uh, I mean, there's times we were tired out there. They just gave us the energy to keep pushing forward. I think their energy helped wear down. So good work. Even though there was a, an awful lot of blue out there? Yeah, it was. Even though I don't, I don't really hear people who uh, were wearing blue. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, guys. Congratulations.